same two players lead the field after round three of the 2021 European Amateur Championship, but moving day still lived up to the expectations. Higher scores due to tougher pin positions, lead changes and eventually three men within two shots going into final round on Saturday. Even if he had to battle against his game all day long, Ludwig Oberg still managed to play one on the par. The Swede briefly lost his lead on the back nine, mostly because of his first four bogeys of the tournament. But he regained it with style, making this birdie putt on the last hole to close his day at minus 17. I didn't play as well as I did the first two races, obviously, shooting the not even the, close to being the same score. But uh, I'm pretty proud of how I handled it, pretty proud of how I finished. Um, being pretty tired, being pretty, you know, exhausted, but it's uh, it's a new day tomorrow and I'm, I'm actually in the lead still, so it's pretty good. Obviously, finishing with a birdie is huge. Um, you, you're gonna, dinner's gonna taste a little bit better, sleep's gonna be a little bit better, so um, yeah, it's, it's definitely something to build on. Christopher Bring holds second place, as he did the two previous nights. He even grabbed the lead on the back nine, thanks to a great putt on the 16th. Yet a bogey on the last hole put him back one shot behind. I'd say it's been pretty good. Uh, I tried to just go out and shoot a decent number, and I mean it was harder today than it was the two other days. A little more wind and pin positions were a little harder. Um, so I, I mean I didn't hit it as good, but I still got it done. And two under is a decent score, and uh, look forward to tomorrow. The most significant move at the top of the leaderboard was made by Spain's David Puig. Four birdies on the last four holes resulted in a 6 under 65 and third place at minus 15. I tried to follow my game plan and I, I knew I was playing good. I just made uh, two fives in a row, 13, 14, and that was kind of tough for me. But then, as I said, I just tried to follow my game plan and it, it worked out very good the last four holes, so very happy for that. Joel Moscatel will be another Spanish contender in the final round, as well as Kit van der Welle from the Netherlands. It will all be a matter of races on Saturday, one for the top 10, one for the podium and one for the title.